Okay. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, my presentation is uh, Muda, Murray, and Murrah. Uh, but first, does anybody have anything they're grateful or proud of? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> hey, uh, yeah. Oh. So proud of and grateful for like this grateful. beautiful family. I got one. Okay. I'm grateful for Brian Trader uh, cleaning that window. I think I annoyed everybody up there several times yesterday. Every time I got up and looked out and saw how much <laughs> risk it was, <laughs> I got new glasses. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a shout out, Dave. Can we give a shout out to TJ coming back? Hey, are you? I can be. I'm on proud of CJ. He used the SOPs this morning, fired up my mill, and got the spindle warming up. Yeah, he didn't even know what a mill was. <laughs> or an SOP. <laughs> uh, my daughter sent me a message last night. Don't tell Ma. And then it was just a video of her doing her first uh, double front flip. Oh, like first time ever out of the out of the belt. So she's she's like, don't tell mom. So I got to send my wife a text that said, I know something you don't know, which is fantastic. <laughs> great. I'm proud of you. Yeah. yeah, it was great. I'm proud of Landon for coming out and showing us who he really is. He sucks and not afraid to. That's his kind of curry. He does. He doesn't have to be in the closet anymore. I'm uh, proud of him for doing his first video yesterday for the uh, WhatsApp. Yeah, that was a good one. More videos, please. <laughs> I'm proud of my uh, youngest daughter, too. Name's on the pink family. Awesome. awesome. All right, so the first thing, Muda it just means waste means wastefulness, uselessness, and futility. So anything that's not adding value, it basically is muda. So there's two types of muda. Uh, they're both non-value, but one, uh, muda type one is not, is necessary to the process. So something like inspecting a product, um, something you have to do. Muda type two are non-value activities that are unnecessary for the customer. So Muda type two are the eight wastes, and we we want to try to eliminate those. Transportation, excess inventory, waiting, overproduction, defects, motion, overprocessing, and unused talent. Don't do water. this. <laughs> Don't do water in the spit out of the paper. <laughs> so, <laughs> Murrah means unevenness, non uniformity, and irregularity. So Murrah is the reason for any of the eight waste, and standardization helps to eliminate this. So does anybody have any examples of, of where things might be uneven in your area? No. Yeah. Uh, so we have like a bunch of, like say we just cut seven gauge, we, all, we only have seven gauge work, or aluminum too, some people can't do aluminum. So it's kind of uneven it works, not really spread out amongst the welders or people. Maybe yeah. a little bit of Some people. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nope. Yeah, even this, we're all completely even. Oh, How about the shipping department having no work one day and then 200 lines in the queue? What about engineering and the OA needs to do it where you'd have five or six jobs and Marketing would have nothing, and then all of a sudden, marketing would have five or six jobs, and engineering would have nothing. We kind of suffer from it in engineering sometimes when we're trying to design something for these different materials. So, I'm trying to avoid that because we, you know, we can make a lump run on all seven gate and simplify a bracket so that it can 
to hold the product from start to finish to stay seven days and they avoid having to wait for the even if so failed in the period to come through to finish the prototype. That was our old third gen Tacoma. I think the centerpiece was 11 gauge or yeah. and so the outside. Seven, seven, seven and 11. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that was 11. One. Yeah. Struggled to get everything at the right time. Yeah. That would kind of be easier when we get the new laser with the different loading system. Yeah. I think that would what we'll do right now through even with the robot, right? So in the last mm -hmm. week, I've just been doing, in the last week, I've been working a lot of 3S and sort and standard and all that stuff. But uh, the guys that have been working on their projects, and um, we've tried to do a couple of different bumpers, but there's revisions and things that need to happen, right? So ultimately, I end up not having anything that can be worked on right now, right? So it creates a little bit of ugliness. So just try to fill the gaps. Another one for engineering that I'm sure everybody on this side of the room can feel, but current got always this a huge unevenness in our workflow, and we're always you know, it's kind of laid back and we're picking through stuff and then when the trip comes up and there's a hard deadline and there's five new vehicles that need to go somewhere we get real annoying and we need stuff to come everybody quickly for me no one when the switch to aluminum or switch back different materials it's not a good there's no good flow of page that you set in form to 11. it can fluctuate back and forth which makes the rest of you feel that same thing Another example would be the brake presses. I think we can only run the right specific product on each of the presses that printed states. Yeah, we can do so it. It yeah. could create uneven workloads between the two brake presses as well. Or an uneven flow through the battery. So Murray is overburdened, which means beyond one's power, excess excessiveness, impossible, or unreasonableness. So anything somebody's just overloaded with work all of a sudden. So like Brian said, an example was when engineering was doing five or six products at once, then there'd be nothing for a while. And then all of them would get pretty much all their products done at the same time. So they, they all needed to go online and in one week. Um, I got one. Okay. <laughs> Me, the other day, uh, overnight, we cut 18 sheets of seven gauge aluminum. So the floor was full. And then during the next day, we cut 15 sheets, quarter inch aluminum, and they were still like a quarter of the way through the seven gauge from the previous night. So there was just way too much on the top. We had to get it down so we could start another schedule because it was full. Nick had to come help. Casey had help. We had to uh, help add the laser because the brake press was out of stuff to do. So it was a very big overburden on the back end the laser, which Resulted in no burden in the brake press, which wasn't And the rush did cause us defects. Yes. We had fix for a bunch of time. For example, the whole burden customer service counting. Uh, customer service. Uh, Monday. What about every month's end and shipping? Yeah. Yeah. But I was going to say, <laughs> typically at the end of the month, we roll into that last week and we're just slammed with a bunch of products. Sometimes it's the last three days we just get slammed with a bunch of food and just full. It's just kind of unreasonable to expect it all to get out in that last 24, 48 hours. Right? Like, does Ryan know anything about overburden and engineering? <laughs> There's a lot of times where I take on too many projects and uh, yeah, I'm just take all my time. I'm too, too many things to manage at one time, and then a lot of details get managed because they're just probably juggling too much. 28 keeps flowing. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes it's just like it seems unavoidable, but the reality is that it's probably not, and things would be a lot more efficiently. Some just got set aside temporarily to focus on the smaller amount of projects. And then just pick up the resources. I've got one. So there's one aluminum welder machine set up for specifically aluminum. And so when they, when they cut all that aluminum and get the bumpers that only really I know how to do, unless I train somebody on them, I mean, there's just a lot backed up behind my boots. I mean, I don't mind doing aluminum, I love it, it's great, but there is. I don't know, five GX 460s, and I got another three 550s sitting in front of my boot. When some of that burden could be taken by someone 
being trained properly how to do those things. We'll come in on Monday morning, and just because we're not here, that doesn't mean that our customers aren't like working during the weekend, like trying to install their stuff and putting things together. We'll come in on Monday morning, and there'll be, you know, three times as many tickets as there are on a Tuesday morning because the customers had a weekend to like discover things or or sit and mull things over and like, hey, where's my order at? And they'll just be like, we came in Monday, and there were uh 106 tickets i think just waiting for us you know on a monday morning hey where's my stuff or i have a problem with this or uh can you cancel my order or hey i need to modify my order or just you know 100 and some different things that we need to go through it getting to all those people is is difficult in uh in a timely fashion every time crossbars come in it's an overburden <laughs> I was going to say with powder coat getting aluminum by the end of the week or having that last week of uh, aluminum run and then also getting crossbars that kind of week is that you really need two weeks to process all the aluminum plus all the crossbars if you're not the powder coat. So that's a big burden for that last week. Mm -hmm. So this is just kind of an illustration of the three. Um, Overburden would be a truck that's just overloaded. Uh, Murrow would be unevenness, so one's overloaded and one has empty space on it. Um, and then Muda, just waste. All the trucks would have empty space on them. They could have carried more. So with none of them, they're all evenly loaded and they don't have any wasted space. So I kind of already talked about this unevenness example in engineering and marketing. So so by doing what we've already talked about, um, <laughs> so by fixing what bugs you and creating SOPs, we can hopefully eliminate some of this unevenness. Um, yeah, be more efficient. So <laughs> tomorrow we have Tim, and next week we have Joel, Morgan, Pete, and Landon. <laughs> that definitely looks like my hair. <laughs> and production, you have a meeting in. In production. Rooted I'm legally changing my name. <laughs> I'll bring it back up.